First half we worked into it and then uh, turned it on the second half and uh, really uh, came on the pitch after a good talk at half time and really uh, showed how, what we can do. What was said at half time? Because you came out second half all guns blazing. Yeah, there were a few, uh, a few strong words but just uh, told us to stick to our processes, really just reiterated what we said before the game and uh, just put it all on the pitch. Of course, as captain, you'll say it's all about the team, but a hat trick for yourself, you must be delighted. Obviously, yeah, I've got my whole family here actually, so it's a good day, a good day to uh, score a hat trick. But no, it was, it was a team performance. I mean, half of them were offloads and right on the line, but no, it was a really good performance, and obviously the pack and scrum time really, uh, really benefited. And just a word on that pass from Luke Cowan, Dicky for your second try. Props aren't supposed to do that, are they? No, but uh, Dicky, Dicky will be loving that. He'll uh, definitely be showing those clips. Uh, in the team meetings and stuff like that. And uh, week off next week and then Italy focus now all on them? Yeah, obviously just game by game taking it, but now move uh, rest for a week and then uh, on to Italy and real focus for that game. Well, Jack, hat-trick hero and man of the match, well done. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are all delighted. I mean, that was an excellent second half performance and I think we were a bit nervous in the first half. You know, we, we out, as you pointed out earlier, come off the back of a, a defeat against Ireland and it was a painful one because they put so much effort in. And sometimes there's that realisation that even you might put all the effort that you, that you can and you might not get the result. And uh, I think once we got to half time and they realised how, how, uh, how much they had left in the tank and, and how nervous we'd maybe been in the first half, they really went for it in the second half and got, got a great result. Five tries, uh, obviously a hat-trick for uh, 
Jack Clifford and a penalty try, one for the forwards today. Yeah, yeah, good, and uh, there was a lot of banter in the stand at the end about no back scoring, so it was good that they got over at the end. But no, I mean, great platform laid down by the, by the forwards. But again, the, the backs just went out. I think our backs really showed today, just in terms of their ball retention and their work at the breakdown, just how, how keen they are to do the work and the effort. And uh, when they do that, and then you get a result like this, it's, it's just pleasing for everybody. This Six Nations Championship is probably uh, the most open it's ever been. Uh, Italy up next for us, uh, obviously focus now all on them. Yeah, well, sort of. I mean, we've got the following week, so actually we're just going to relax for a day or two, to be fair, because you don't get the chance to put 40 points on France very often. And uh, and then we'll turn our focus to Italy, and that'll be a tough game, it always is. And, and quite clearly, the, the competition is pretty level this year. Uh, everybody's sort of evening out from a, from a fitness and physical perspective so it'd be great to to, to get to Northampton and uh, and then go at the Italians next week thanks Rob congrats thanks